Although it was quite windy outside for us today, at least it was warm and it was pretty sunny. Yes, we've had a couple of clouds here or there, but overall it has not been a terrible day to be outside if you could deal with the wind. Now, as we expand the picture for you just a little bit, where oh where is the precipitation? It's honestly not that far away from us. You head up towards the Great Lakes states over towards New England. That's where we have snow showers and even some rain showers. Then you head a little bit further to the south and to the west. That's where we're warm enough and humid enough to be seeing some thunder showers out across northern Arkansas, also into areas very close to Tulsa in Oklahoma. You will also notice some rain showers developing out across southwest Texas. That is our next weather maker. That is what's going to produce a very good chance for rain for us as we head really from about uh, late Friday through Saturday. Tonight, though, no weather worries. We're dry, skies nothing worse than partly cloudy. Tomorrow, we're going to have partly to at times mostly sunny skies. I think more sun in the morning, more clouds later in the day. Tomorrow night, skies are fair, and we even start out Friday dry with some sun. However, look what happens later in the day. Clouds build from lunchtime on, and then by about 4, 5, 6 o'clock, we're going to start to see some rain pushing in before the sun goes down on Friday. The best chance for rain will be in areas south of 460. So the first folks to see rain on Friday will be the NRV and south side and then Friday night rain overspreads the entire region. Friday night that chance for rain can't get much higher at 100%. You'll notice as we head throughout the day Saturday the general trend will be for rain chances to go down as the day progresses. Okay so we're wetter Saturday morning than we will be Saturday afternoon and Sunday right now looks to be the drier of the two weekend days. Sunday looks to be the pick day to be outside, even though the winds will be back on the increase. 68 right now in Lynchburg, 66 in Roanoke, lower 70s in Danville. That's a hot spot. Big temperature differential. Look at Withfill 56. Hot Springs even cooler at 48. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone. 55 in the NRV, 55 Covington, Clifton Forge, cooler northbound in the Highland and Bath counties. Upper 50s, Roanoke, Lynchburg near 60 south side. So temperatures tomorrow cooler than today. Wind speeds will gradually drop off tonight, especially after midnight. And again, there will be a few clouds around, but we're dry, but we're cold, very cold tonight. Overnight lows about 26 to 36 for the day tomorrow. Less wind, mild, sunny temperatures tomorrow close to average. Those highest tomorrow in the 50s and lower 60s. That extended forecast showing temperatures going up into the lower 60s Sunday, Monday. Then one week from today, we're down into the lower 50s. Going to have that good chance for rain very late Friday, Friday night into Saturday. Then we dry things out Sunday, Monday. Another chance for rain here for us as we head into late Tuesday and Wednesday.